Okay, it's time for the Big Ten. So, uh, 13 games, uh, accomplished, good, great accomplishments. We, we've come a long way, uh, but now it, everything just changes. We're zero and zero. Uh, it's a. Uh, we're really looking forward to getting into this type of play. As demanding as it is, this is why these young men came to Michigan. Uh, this is why I came to Michigan. This is why our staff is, is loves coaching in Michigan. Uh, the Big Ten has been, become a giant, and now we're in the middle of it. So I like the idea now that there's no non-conference games, there's nothing. It's just focus right now on trying to go after our 14th Big Ten championship. Uh, and if you, do, if you really work at that hard and can get to that point where you're in the hunt, you're in a pretty good hunt for an NCAA, uh, play, NCAA playoffs, and, and that's the only way you get to that championship. So I think what we're... Uh, we're as ready as we're going to be after today's practice, and uh, we go get it because we, we have a Northwestern, then two days, another game, and two days, another game, so we're into it quickly. Any update on Tim? Uh, he, is, uh, he did a few things yesterday. He's going to do a few thing, things more tomorrow, and uh, we'll figure out what he can do. But really don't know more until he stretches himself a little bit more uh, in practice. Is it still, is it, you guys know if it's just a bruise or a sprain or whatever? There's, there? uh, it's tough to tell sometimes, but one thing we know that is it's one of those things that need just enough rest, right? Just enough rest to be healthy the rest of the year uh, or to be lingering. So uh, we'll know more. Did you, you said he did a few things, so he did full, full, full yeah, yeah, practices? You know, John was working with some different things. Tim felt, said he felt good, but it wasn't a basketball practice yet. How's health for the rest of your team? It's pretty good. John Horford's coming along fine, but still limited to half court. Uh, and I think everybody else seems pretty good. You've been feeling questions about Big Ten basketball for months now. I mean, how excited are you to actually get into it? Well, yeah, I mean, this is what we do as I, as I preface the conversation with the, the press conference. This is, uh, this is what we all get excited about. Uh, now, when you're all of a sudden you're at Northwestern and you, you got a huge crowd and you have to play against a talented team that is so innovative in what they do, uh, it's not as much fun as, as you know the whole the depth of the whole being in the whole league will be. But it, you have to, you know, go on the road now. Like every high major team that has been protected by playing mostly home games, now no nobody uh, gets that opportunity now to just play at home. And so now you, you, there's some separation and huge learning opportunities for all teams across the country. You mentioned Northwestern's kind of innovative system. Uh, you had a couple more days to prepare for it. Um, you haven't played since Saturday. Does that, does that help? It, it certainly beats the alternative of having a one or two day prep, given our, our uh, inexperience in ever playing against these. I mean, there'll be six guys out there, if you count Max, who have never played it. Uh, played against it, and, and what we we we, uh, we have some experienced seniors that um, are are fairly good at it, but not with the speed that Northwestern you know, runs it. So uh, until we get into it, uh, I think Trey Burke said the other day. He said the speed that they they run it at guys is incredible. He's trying to talk to our freshmen. You have to really be on this. Uh, you guys usually get good support from Michigan fans at Northwestern, yeah. but are you worried at all with uh, the freshmen? This is the first kind of real Big Ten game. I mean, does this concern you? You know, no? they certainly uh, answered very well at Bradley, and uh, I, I can't think of a, you know, that was a very hostile situation as well. I, I thought it was a great uh, example of what we'd see in the Big Ten. Trey didn't, ever have a, didn't really have a problem with it last year, it seemed like. Was it one of those things where, with these guys, too, where they don't know any better? Maybe it's good for them? With the, with with the, the fresh hostility and, the, yeah. and, and it, everybody's different. Yeah. Everybody is different. You just don't know what they're going to do. So it's not limited to freshmen or sophomores or personalities or parts of the country. It is, uh, and, but based on what we saw uh, at Bradley, it's not a concern. You're going into the Big Ten season as sort of co-defending champs, uh, does that change at all the character with which you approach the, the count of the season? I mean, this is, there is so much to be learned about every team. And now I, I still think you'll, now in the next month, we, we'll find out, you know, where teams are in their, in their process, in their journey. And it's, it's very, uh, the sample size of how good teams are right now is so minimal because teams haven't gone on the road and played high 
they haven't, everybody has gone, the high majors play one or two true road games, truly. They're going to play nine coming up in the next eight weeks. That's the sample size. Now you'll find out who, what teams are the best teams in the country and what, have, what teams have to keep getting better.